Hundreds of people trying to get their lives back on track have been helped by a sober living house in Victoria. And one of those people is the director of Anawim House. Tess Van Stratton takes a look at this life-changing nonprofit in this week's Vital People. Terry Edison Brown has dedicated his life to helping others. A day doesn't go by that I'm not blessed that I don't see the, the, the fruits of, of, what, uh, of what I've been able to contribute to. You know, and I have a firm belief that it was given to me so freely that I have to give it back. Terry's been at Anawim House, a sober living house for the homeless, for 25 years. Anawim House is a day house for people living in poverty that are trying to find a better way of life. We have two programs. We have a drop-in program and a residential program. We call it the little charity that could because we're small, but we have a great impact. We have a residence for seven men. Um, mo many of them are recovering from addiction, but mostly we say people come to us to recover from poverty. We've got a little bit of length to take off. Yeah. The drop-in program's open to men and women and gives people a chance to wash their clothes, have a shower, stay warm during the day, and have a hot meal. But most importantly, what we want to do is we want to find out who they are. Why are they on the streets? Why are they living in poverty? And what can we do to help empower them to get their lives back. Terry knows firsthand the life-changing difference Anawim House, which is run completely on donations, can make. My story is a good story because it, you know, it's going from rags to riches sort of idea. But the thing is, the house actually helped me do this. They did this by caring for me, by allowing me to find my own path and helping me along that journey. Terry was living on the street and dealing with addiction when he came to Anawim as a young man. From there, I realized that I can have a different life. I can have a better way of way to be. So I asked how to move in here. And so when I moved in here, I realized I have many issues, a lot of stuff going on, it, and they helped me through the house. I was my week, my week was fine. Sarah Carrie Bernard started volunteering at Anawim because she wanted to help make a difference. Well, I've struggled with mental health and addiction myself, so I've been through it, and um, I wouldn't be where I am today without the help of other people, and so I want to help other people too. And in the new year, Anawim House will be opening a home for women after a generous donor gifted a property to them. It's so exciting. It's one of the only second stage housing for women that's online, coming online in the Victoria area. It's very needed. And this is now going to empower women to change and grow, to get their lives back. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.